All right, what's up guys? So a lot of you guys have asked for an at-home pull-up progression so you can work on getting your first straight pull-up or work on your straight pull-ups um, during the whole closing thing. So I wrote you guys one. So <clears throat> it's two days a week uh, for four weeks. Uh, at that point, if depending on how all this is going, we can repeat it and one uh, maybe make some small changes, something like that. But anyway, all I wanna do today is I just wanna go through all of the movements that you see that may be unfamiliar. Uh, we're not going to talk about each day in particular or anything like that. All we're going to do is movement reviewing. So we're just going to make sure that you guys know exactly what to do when you go to do a day of the program and you have a video that you can look at with some demos, things like that. So uh, we're just going to go all the way through it. Um, so it's basically broken down into one day a week is isometric based stuff. So a lot of static holding. The other day of the week is developed around actual kind of range of motion strength building. So first thing we got, um, chin over the bar pull-up holds. Again, you can do these on the back of a door, so very similar to our pull-up scaling options. Um, but if you happen to have a band at your house, you can do band assisted uh, so that you can, uh, or sorry, foot assisted for these, it's not band assisted. So you can just bring a chair over to your door or put a chair under your pull-up rig so that you can take a little bit of your body weight off. Um, but if you're gonna do it on the back of a door, again, just a quick little reminder, take something and wedge it under the other side of the door. So like maybe a plate or something like that, wedge it under the door so it goes underneath so that you're not putting so much stress on any of the doors in your house. Um, and again, you're just gonna do a chin over bar top of the, uh, top of the pool. Hold. So again, if you have a pull up bar at home, fantastic. Hold for 15 seconds. Um, if you have a uh, door, like I said, hold the top of the door for 15 seconds. Uh, another movement you're going to see is the top of a bent over roll ho row hold. So a lot of the members at the gym have uh, barbells now, which is fantastic. So for the top of the row hold, what you're going to do is you're going to find a good deadlift position. You are going to pull that bar to your bra line and you're gonna hold for 15 seconds. So we're also gonna work on the entire back strength just holding this position, but we're gonna hold for 15 seconds here. So pick a weight that is challenging for a 15 second hold. After that, you've got uh, dead hanging. So you're, again, you're just gonna hang from either a pull-up bar, you can hang from a door, you can hang from a tree, branch outside, literally anything, but it's a dead hang. So it's not an active hang, so it's just gonna be accumulate a certain amount of time in as few sets as possible. Uh, and then every day there's going to be a cash out of a banded exercise. If you don't happen to have a band at your house, uh, it's one of the few things that is actually still in stock online places. So I would definitely recommend that you buy one. Um, as far as bands go, there are two resistances that are helpful. So thinner bands, these are, uh, you can buy either a 20 or a 30 pound one. And then thicker bands, these are usually about 50 pounds, maybe 60 pounds. So either one of these would be perfectly uh, useful for this. So uh, for your banded cash out exercises, there are four of them throughout the four week program. Uh, number one is pull aparts. So again, we do these in class all the time. Tension starts right here. Find a challenging resistance. You're gonna pull to your bra line while keeping your ribs pulled down and active and then back out nice and slow. And again, these are a slow controlled exercise. Uh, your other banded cash out exercises. Banded rows, so for those, you're just gonna sit down, band's gonna go around your feet or around an object like a pole or something like that, and we're just gonna row nice and slow for 50, or for 50 reps. So again, use an resist, or a resistance level that's appropriate, so if you have multiple bands, that's great. Uh, other banded exercises, the other two ones are banded lat pull downs and banded bicep curls. So for banded bicep curls, you're gonna stand on the band, find some resistance. You can add resistance by putting more of the band under your feet and you are going to do banded bicep curls. So just like this, same thing. These are gonna be nice and slow. And then after that, you've got your banded lat pull downs. So for those, you're gonna hook the band around the top of the door or if you have a pull-up bar, you can hook it around that way. And what we're gonna do is you're going to Pull, Oops. sorry, like this. So you're going to pull the band, straight arms, down towards your hip, and then back up, try and keep a little bit of tension here. So again, oh, whoop. that hurt a little bit. Um, so <laughs> ideally you would do these on a pull-up bar, but if you're gonna do them on a door, 
do them bent. So we'll make this modification. We're all learning together. <laughs> so arms are straight, pull down to the hip just so that you're pulling more straight down and you're not pulling down at an angle. And again, we're looking for arms straight and we're looking to find that tension in your lat. So through the side of your body as you press down. Good morning, everybody. Um, so those are your banded exercises. Again, there's a whole bunch of them throughout the program. Um, other exercises we need to talk about. There are strict pull-ups in there. And again, you're gonna scale those. You can either do band assisted or you can do foot assisted. So again, if you're using a door, you're gonna be doing foot assisted banded or uh, pull-ups. If you happen to have a pull-up bar, you're gonna be doing banded pull-ups. So you can put a band, again, resistance of any level around your foot. Uh, other than that, we've got some rowing variations. So you've got barbell rows and you've got dumbbell rows. Um, Again, for the barbell rows, it's gonna be the non-isometric version of what we're doing here. So you're gonna load your barbell up. You're gonna find about a 45 degree position right here. Bar stays relatively close to my body. I'm just gonna be pulling it to my bra line every time. Choose a weight that allows you to look just like this, meaning there's no hinging or kind of like use of momentum to try and assist you. Uh, the other one is you've got dumbbell or you've got kettlebell rows. You're going to have two kettlebells or two dumbbells, a perfect world. And you're going to do the exact same range of motion, but we're going to do it with a uh, different hold. So the barbell, you're going to hold like this. If you're using dumbbells, you're going to have your hands uh, a little bit more externally rotated. So a little bit more supinated here, and you're going to do a hammer variation. So you're going to row here. If you only have one dumbbell or one kettlebell, just do one at a time. Totally fine. Other exercises that you need, that you may not be familiar with, um, a gun rack hold. So this is to develop bicep strength. So what this looks like, this can be done a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, you can do it with kettlebells, with dumbbells, you can do it with a barbell. How you hold doesn't really matter, but basically what you're gonna do is you're holding at 90 degrees. So from right here, you're gonna make sure that the elbows are tucked in and that the object stays right in line with your elbow. And all we're looking to do is develop bicep strength. So this can be done with a barbell right here. It can be done with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, holding like this. So you see that? It can be done holding like this. And if I had a dumbbell, it would be the exact same thing. And again, ideally you'll do both arms at the same time. So have, if you have two of an object, so two kettlebells, two dumbbells, or two of these, you could also do these with a band. So if you have a band around your, uh, around your feet, you can just have the band in your hands and you can hold like this. So again, a lot of different ways that you can do the gun rack hold, but the point is just to develop that isometric bicep strength. Uh, so other things that you need to be able to do, uh, one over that, one over that. Strict pull-ups, banded bicep curls, variations on rowing. All right, so echo. No, don't do that. Um, so a couple of the things that we've got for here. So a PVC, uh, PVC pipe or broomstick holds to the chest. So these are a great exercise. Stole them from Chris Harris, so thanks, buddy, if you ever watched this. Um, but these are going to be as hard as you make them. So literally all you're going to do is you're going to take some stick, object, hockey stick, broomstick, whatever, you're gonna pull it against your bra line and you're gonna actively pull as hard as you can for a given amount of time. This is gonna be as hard as you make it. The harder you pull, the more challenging it's gonna be. And I encourage you to literally try and pull the broomstick or the hockey stick through your chest to the other side. So it's a really hard pull. And again, as much effort as you can give it, that's what you're gonna do. Uh, there's a given amount of time that varies from week to week. So again, just kind of go with the flow. Uh, other one is you've got a Superman hold with an object overhead. So what we're looking for here is again, you're probably going to use a light plate, uh, kettlebell, dumbbell, or any household object, uh, water jugs, backpack loaded up with some stuff. So what we're looking to do though, is I want a weight that's a, that's challenging for you. So again, whatever, what, uh, whatever that might be, but you're going to lay in a Superman position on the ground. So active Superman, you're gonna have the object overhead and you're gonna hold for 20 seconds. So as an example, Caitlin, okay, would you mind handing me one of those 35 pound dumbbells behind you? All right, so.
So, as an example, you can have a dumbbell. It might be too heavy, I just realized. But what we're going to do is you're going to find a Superman position, object is overhead. Yep, it's way too heavy. All right, good for me. So, uh, but what we're looking for here, I would say a plate might be more realistic. So, obviously, as you can see, we're learning together today, guys. So, um, again, let's say this plate's probably going to be more realistic. So, find my Superman position, my arms are going to be straight, and I'm going to hold for 15 seconds of overhead. Again, the amount of time changes from week to week, um, but that's the idea, is that the arms are straight, so the object's really far away. As you can see, you don't need much weight. So, 15 pounds, that would have been really hard for me. So, again, um, you know, five pound plates, um, a book, like literally a heavy book, a textbook, something like that, would be perfect for these. Um, what else do we got? Awesome. So here's another uh, another fun variation that we've got. So um, towards the later part of the program, week three, week four, there's uh, rowing variations, and I call it plate rowing. So again, ideally, a lot of you guys have some kind of bumper plate. You can also use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You can, again, any object is fine. A loaded backpack is also perfectly fine for this. But what happens, so there's a sequence in the program. Uh, there's a minute of rowing at different speeds, followed by a minute of rest. So I'm gonna use week three as an example. You've got four rounds, 20 second normal speed plate rows, 20 second slow rows, 20 second fast rows, and then a minute rest. So what that's gonna look like, again, I'm gonna use a plate, but you can also use a backpack, you can use a heavy textbook, you can use a dumbbell held on either end. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna hinge over, you're gonna row at a normal tempo, for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds is up, you're gonna go slow for 20 seconds. And then for the last 20 seconds, you're gonna go fast. You're gonna really try and burn out moving as quickly as you can, and then you're gonna rest for one minute. So uh, choose a weight that's gonna be challenging. So again, that for me probably would have been a little easy. So I think if I were gonna do that, I would probably try and use like a 45 pound plate or maybe a 45 pound uh, backpack, something like that. So again, uh, play around with it a little bit, but you're gonna be rowing for a full minute. So there should be no resting. So you're moving at different tempos, but there's no rest until you get to that one minute of rest between rounds. Other exercises that you might need to know. Uh, the only other one that we have to go over, it looks like, is a bent over T hold. So again, this is gonna be really light. Like I'm talking, you might need like soup cans. Um, I'm gonna use five pound plates. You could use uh, water jugs, bottles of wine. Um, literally, I think only a couple pounds in each hand is gonna be enough. But you're gonna bend over, so about 45 degrees, and we're gonna hold a T position. And we're gonna hold this, again, there's different time ranges in the program, but you're gonna be holding here. So the point when you do these is that, again, you're gonna be able to hold that 45 degree angle back position with your arms out parallel to, the, to your body the entire time. So again, this position as I'm bent over. A couple things that you're looking to do is externally rotate the shoulder. So really trying to take the thumbs and again, turn them to the sky when I'm standing, which would mean not at the sky when I'm here. I don't need really to try to do this. So your thumbs are gonna basically be essentially trying to point up above my head. So again, I really want to screw those shoulders in so that I feel my lat engage and I've got my upper back screwed in nice and tight. So that is every exercise that you will need to do or see demoed throughout this entire program. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, <laughs> Get your pull-up nice and strong. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. So uh, email me, direct message me on Instagram, anything like that's totally fine. And hopefully you guys come out of this feeling big and strong. Enjoy.